ensure that I remain on course when it comes to self-discovery. Because I don't want to discover myself now. I sit, I know these are my weak points, I know these are my strong points, and I leave them there. There must be something practical that I will be doing now and then so that I'm able to say that, look, I'm on the right track. Number one, as a Muslim, wallah, and especially as a Shia, a lover and a follower of Ahlul Bayt, you need to have a plan in life. What do I mean by having a plan in life? I know we all have plans when it comes to our businesses. We have plans when it comes to our studies. I know. Do you have a plan about reaching Allah and understanding Ahlul Bayt? This one some scholars mention al aqrar wa tasmim. You have to make tasmim. Organize yourself. What time I wake up? What time I recite Quran? What time I teach in madrasa? What time I attend majalis? These are very important brothers. I'm not saying it for saying it. I'm telling you because I know where I'm coming from. When I became a lover and follower of Alil Bayt, it changed my mindset. It made me a better person. It changed my thinking. I realized that there is pool of knowledge, oceans of treasures of knowledge in the school of thought of Ahlul Bayt about the dunya and akhirah, but we are doing nothing about it. The du'as of Ahlul Bayt alone are oceans to help us live dunya peacefully and go to akhirah peacefully. Oceans, treasures of knowledge. But what are we doing about it? Dua Ikumail we recite every Thursday. It's a treasure of dunya and akhirah. It's about mabda and ma'ad. What plan do I have to understand this so that I'm able to connect and affiliate myself with Ahli Bayt al Asma wa Tahara? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. So, number one, we need a plan. <laughs> Plan yourself and say, look, I know how to recite Quran, but I don't understand it properly. Make a plan. You don't want to attend class, you have social media. Instead of using it only for chatting and chatting only, download some good tafsir, good books, read them. You need to have a plan. I always tell people, Shabab, when you do your new year resolution, don't just make a resolution, I want to get married, I want to do this. Life. Make a resolution also to improve your status with Allah. How many books do we read in a month? How many books do we read in a year? This must be in our plan. So al akrar is so important, brothers and sisters. So that you are able to know where you are going and where you are coming. But if there is no plan about Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, the whole year will come by finish and we'll be sitting the same. You need a plan. Isn't it we have inherited a beautiful tradition from Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen? Alaykum bi taqwa Allah wa nazmi amrikum. Alaykum bi taqwa Allah. Yani Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen equate taqwa of Allah and be organized and to be in order. Whatever you do, you have, you have to have order. No, 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 no. I know my weak point is what? My salat is weak. Spend the whole year improving it. Nothing wrong. It's excellent, but you need to have a plan. The way you have plan for your dunya, have plan for your akhirah. You take it slowly and slowly and slowly. And this I'm talking to the youth. It's very important. Have a plan. Because Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala want to see Shab, a youth who is energetic in his love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now number two, once you have this plan, as always we have a beautiful tradition from Ahl al-Bayt. You need hasibu anfusakum qabla antu hasabu. You need self-judgment. From time to time judge yourself. And this self-judgment is not only about Allah, even about your dunya. Once in a week, once in a month, every night, when you are about to sleep, you ask yourself, today I've woken up 6 o'clock, I've gone out to work, I came back this time. How many people have I wronged? How many good things have I done? 
What sort of relationship am I managed to build with Allah? You have to do self-judgment. Imam Jafar mentioned, Hasibu anfusakum kabla antu hasabu, wazinuha kabla antu zanu. Judge yourselves before you are judged. You need self-judgment, self-audit. And du'as of Ali al bayta ad-du'a of al du'a arafa of Abu Abdullah, du'a Abu Hamza al-Thamali, is filled with faces of self-judgment. Ali al bayt express themselves towards Allah in terms of how one should self-judge himself. And we need that. And that will ensure that we are on the right track. We are on the right track. We are going, we are on the right track. And the third one, which is the last one, is what? In going forward, we have to be very active. We have to pledge to Allah to say, from now, I'm not going to back off. I'm going to ensure that I fully represent Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salatu wa And once we have that, be rest assured, brothers and sisters, we will reach the peak of everything that we have. Yes, there are so many challenges today in the world. So many challenges. But we should not allow these challenges to stand our way. When there is a will, there is a way as they mentioned. 